Let's see if I can find the mate here. Nice mate in seven, you say. Um, does this show up okay on the stream? Yeah. All right. And uh, he's got some number of pawns in hand. I think that's a two. All right. Um, we've got two pawns, but probably they're not going to be part of the mate. All right, all right, so um, reading this from left to right, lance, knight, gold, oh, there's the king. All right, um, bishop, knight, okay, row two, second row, Silver, pawn, pawn. Silver, pawn, our gold, our. Do, do, do. Um, promoted something. And a pawn, and a knight, and a lance. Okay. Uh, so this king is not going very far. Um,. Thank goodness we have that knight sporting the attack. This probably would not... Oh, that's our pawn on 4b or 4-2. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can change the pieces to look like 81 Doja if I desire. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Settings. Piece graphic. Detchy. Thank you. Um... Not even what I was going for. I think serious study should use the one kanji set. Um, where's the one kanji set? There we go, that's good enough. Um, now this has some ability to adapt the board size. Um, large. That way I'm not expanding the menu. Can I make this extra large? There we go. This could just stop jumping around for a second. There we go. Oh, that's my mouse wheel doing the jumping. Sorry about that. Ah, so. Change layout to wide. All right, let's do that. 
Oh, yes. Now we're talking. That is so much better. Well, so you have two pawns in hand, but if the pawns are somehow involved in this attack, it doesn't seem to be involve a pawn drop on six. Well, it can't, because like we have a pawn back here. So, um, in fact, we have a pawn back here as well. So pawn drops are probably not going to be part of this mate in seven. Um, Hmm. Unless it's somehow a pawn drop on 4B, which it could be. Um. All right, so this is a dragon. Where'd the bishops go, I wonder? Oh, there's the other bishop. That is sneaky. Huh. Sneaky, sneaky bishop. All right, but we're looking for mate. Oh, but the king can't go to either 4-1 or 4-2, um, because the pawn and dragon protect those squares. So I could do gold 6-B, 6-2, gold takes, bishop takes, king moves, gold drop mate. Right? No, there's a silver protecting this square. It's not that trivial. Um... Still, the answer is going to be something like that. Um, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I. S well, the thing that's annoying about this is that this silver protects the 4 1 square. Otherwise, the pawn promotion would immediately mate. Um. And that the silver protects 6-2, otherwise a variety of things would all mate. Um, and we're looking for a mate in 7, not a longer mate. Yeah, my line, I would be hanging a piece. So, huh, I wonder. I'm finding ways to throw away lots of pieces. But that's not the same thing as checkmate. Okay, so if dragon takes, gold takes, uh, silver drop, 6-2, silver takes, knight takes, gold takes, 
I'm running out of ways I could take that without giving up the 4-2 square. Uh, huh. If I lead off with 4-1 promote, uh, silver takes. Then if I check at 6-2, I guess with the knight, silver takes, gold takes, gold takes, bishop takes, king takes, escapes. Um, so I missed something. Or it was just not the right idea. If I lead off with the knight move to 6-2, silver takes, promote 4-1, silver takes, um, that can't be right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I almost saw something here. Well, part of it involved hallucinating and capturing one of my own pieces. Um, which doesn't seem right. Oh, wait, never mind. So... I was thinking if I take 5-2, gold takes, promote 4-1, king moves, dragon 6-3 check, gold takes, and then I can drop twice on 6-2. So I found a mate. It's not a mate in 7. But I check here. I check here. I check here, and uh, this looks very strong. Oh, the gold still covers the square. I hallucinated that it didn't. Okay, that doesn't cut it then. Yeah, that's no good. Um... Yeah, the gold is still covering that square, and the piece I got in hand is not a gold, but is a silver. So that's too generous. It's got to be this then, but 
All right, so variation A would be king takes, which is not legal. Variation A is this. Um, somehow I imagined this would make things easier. It does not, even in the slightest. Yeah, this does not help me get another attacker. Left arrow key does not undo moves. Yeah, well, I've iterated through my, many of the possibilities here. Um, I wonder. Check. Check. Uh, I guess we have to use the gold here. No, we don't need to use the gold. Now, this is not a mate in seven still. This is like way inefficient. So if they come forward, it's gold on the head there. If they retreat, um, I've blocked an immediate mate, but this works good enough. Silver still protects it. This is not the most elegant solution, and it's not a mate in seven, but um, it does mate. Oh, the king runs to 3-2. Right, I was just focused on the king running forward. No, you're right. So if I do this, this is possible. Which is a problem. Oh, hang on. So I was right then that I need to use my gold. And I was mistaken. Like, yeah, I can just promote this here. Or do the gold there. I have another gold to support it. So this is a mate in nine. Um, so there's a mate in seven here. be easier if I just had another rook in hand. So, I mean, there's this sort of nonsense, but it still doesn't make the cutoff. Wait, hang on. Um, yeah, this nonsense doesn't work. I've rejected it numerous times, and I finally forgot why I rejected it, and now I remember. It's because that's not mate. Um, one... 
two, three, and I'm out. There's no mate here. Oh, hang on. I see what I messed up. So let me go back to the beginning. Um... One, two, three, well, I've already done this. This is not a mate in seven, this is a mate in nine. I keep repeating this. Um... Yeah, so I'm missing some key idea. We're saying sacrifice both of these pieces? Well, I'm sorry. Well, that is what I've been trying here. Unless there's some other mate. Yeah, I don't think this is any faster. There's no way I can mate in two moves from here, or three moves. It's not doable. If I go back one... Yeah, that's no good. Um... Huh. Wait, what's going on here? The knight and the bishop both control this square. Check. Wait, why can't I... I cannot take my own pawn. That's the problem. Uh, um. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't lead anywhere. You think starting with the 4-1 promotion is good, but if the solution is a mate in 7, well, we just burned up two moves, and I don't see how to break in after that. But um, maybe there's a way. To me, it looks like each square adjacent to the king after that is protected at least twice. Other than the 4-1 square, but if I sack the dragon on 4-1, the king escapes. It's not even close. So I just run out of moves. Um, there's no time for a mate in 7 there. So I tried this earlier. Do we take the gold here? 
Okay, they're forced to take our dragon. And I was thinking some piece adjacent to this token. Um, but that's not it. Like, if I drop here, then there's this run. So that's not maiden seven. Escapes where? Well, so if I do this, then I take here, then I drop here, then there's king 4 3. And then I give check here, and then there's king here, and then I nifu, and you know. Um, I mean, I'm kind of joking about the last couple moves, but um, my point is simply that this is not trivial. Um, so I'm not so sold on the idea of promoting the pawn. So somewhere here, there's a checkmate. And it's supposed to be mate in seven. be a lot easier if I could just take my own pawn. Because then this silver cannot get back to 4-2. Or 5. Yeah, it cannot protect the 4-2 square. Well, this is challenging.
There's one thing I haven't tried because it makes no sense, and that's like trying to decoy the silver out to 4 2. And I just run out of pieces. I mean, suppose we start this way, then I don't know, we sack the knight or something. And if the silver takes here, then if we had another general, we could put it on 5 2. Um, but we don't. Yeah, I could Nifu my way to victory, as long as the opponent doesn't notice. I mean, in chess, what we do here, I'm pretty sure we just, like, move the dragon there. It's not check. But I'll be damned if uh, Gota finds a way to escape this. So we're threatening to take the bishop. And that's, like, checkmate. So. I mean, this is pretty decisive. <laughs> but it's not a mate in seven because the first move is not check. Yeah, there you go. They'll never know. But yeah, this is not check, but sure looks decisive to me. Well, I guess the way they could try to oppose this would be a pawn drop on 4-1. So maybe my decisive idea is not so obvious. The pawn drop is actually effective. Much to my disapproval. Yeah, well, plus it's important to be able to find Sume in positions where you really need it. Here we don't really need it, but, um, okay, so they do this pawn drop. Can I still mate here somehow? We have enough pieces attacking this, so yeah, I could mate if I had to. Um... But yeah, sometimes we need to do it all with check. So this non-check move is not a very good start. All right, let's try this again. This check, silver takes. Let's sack the bishop, because why not? Sure. It even asks if we want to promote, because, you know, that's important. Um, yeah, I'm thinking sacking the bishop is not the right move. At all, or even close. So, okay, that didn't work. Plus, that's nothing like any of my earlier variations. And you said one of the variations I suggested earlier was close. So if I take your hint, um, I should have known that's not going to work. Mm
let's try something. Let's just move pieces at this point. Um, no, I can't sacrifice all my most valuable pieces and expect this to work. I need to think this through. Yeah, at this point, I think there's no mate in five. If I just had a silver in hand, of course, I'd have a mate in five. I'd just promote and then drop the silver right there. Um, but if I go to take this, then the gold takes and the king can escape. Um, maybe not forever, but long enough to stop uh, an immediate mate. So, that's super annoying. Yeah, so given all that, the pawn promotion doesn't work. It's just a matter of taking on 5b or 5-2 enough times that I get the right pieces to deliver the mate. Um, that's really all that can be done here. So we have two generals, and the only way I see that is a gold drop here. I'm looking for other ideas. And they all have to be check. You just move this here, and just hope that he doesn't take it. And as long as he doesn't take it, then we're fine. Wait, is this not mate? What's the response here? Oh, right. Just kidding. Alright, so that's not mating either. Um, even my hope shogi fails. Um, <sighs> okay, what if it is this? And what if this gold is actually the problem? Well, I can't get this bishop removed. Um, Yeah, that doesn't quite cut it. And again, that's not similar to anything I tried earlier.
I don't think you've mentioned it. But there's probably a general principle about don't move the pieces until you see it. <laughs> That's probably not what you're getting at. At the craziest sacrifices first. Well, so if we're looking for a crazy sacrifice, oh, I was trying to find a funny way to explain this. Um, I mean, this is crazy, right? Gold takes. And then let's take here, and it's not even check. No, um, like that's pretty crazy. But yeah, here, here, or here, silver takes, and I have no compensation. Um, it's not the worst idea. back up a bit. Well, yeah, if you spent your the entire game analyzing crazy sacrifices, you'd never get anywhere. But, point taken, that in some positions you really do need to look at them. And the key is to know which positions merit such investigation and which ones don't. So, I mean, there's this check. Hang on. Oh! Whoops, wrong way. Damn it. The promotion here is on the right. So how did I do that again? Dragon takes. Yeah, and then this silver drop. Hmm. I did see this in my mind at some point. Um... It's just, wait, no, that's not right. It's important to get this correct. So take here. This is forced. We move this gold such that the bishop can participate later. No, we don't do that. Sorry. There's just a million ways about this. Now we move the gold. And gold takes, and now bishop takes promote mate. There we go. So the key is we need to leave the knight here. Um, and it did occur to me earlier that the key could be that we need to leave the knight on the square. Um, that occurred to me about 30 minutes ago. And I saw this in my head, but I couldn't execute it on the board. No, I saw this particular position in my head. I just couldn't remember the move order I used to get here. Um, what about pawn for one? Silver takes. Dragon takes. King takes. Silver 4-2. Well, the problem with Silver 4-2 is the king just runs. Right, king 3-2. So that's the problem.
Unfortunately, in this game, captures are not compulsory. Yeah, this knight and pawn do a good job covering some squares, like 4-1 and 4-2 and 